It's Saturday. The dreaded <laughs> wash day. And we don't even do it every Saturday. Maybe once a month, honestly. And it's we dread it every 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 wash day. So this is the setup. Look on the face. Look on the face. Um just basic stuff, shampoo, hemp seed, and shea. And this conditioner I got here at Tresemme. And girl, y'all pray for me. Because it's been in this puff, I can't even find the the, the rubber band, the, the scrunchie. Okay, honey, I, see. I might just cut it. I might just cut it, y'all. So while Melody had the conditioner in her hair, I covered it with a plastic bag and served her some lunch. This is some leftover um, spaghetti and shrimp we had and she had a little bit of coconut and sugar, her favorite. We finally finished the hair and put it in chiny bumps for the night. It was a long day. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Bailey. And I just woke up. I was sleeping in the hammock. Here's Melody. Hello. We did end up combing Melody's hair last night. And it was horrible. As usual, she would have said it's horrible, you know? Yeah. This is what you want to go outside? We don't want to go outside. I soon come, baby. I'll let him out. Oh, thank you, honey. I'm not really going to let him out, but. October. Yeah. This is the start of something new. I'm going to be more um, open and more uh, just capturing our daily lives for the vlog. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, today is a chill day uh, in the morning, a chill morning. I'm going to do a little cleaning up around the house if I, if I feel like it. <laughs> um... And then I'm gonna go pick up one of my friends and we're gonna go eat dinner by one of our Trini, um, Trinidadian friends. So it's a cool Sunday, you know, starting the month off, correct. I have some bills to pay. Um, I need to get kitty litter. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. Come here. Emily, come when you want. He won't come. He's not like a dog. We say come, and the dog come. He won't come only when he won't. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. Today's gonna be a chill day. Follow us. You know, come follow us around. Come on, show me your outfit. So we're going out to eat. It's a cute little outfit for us. You gonna wear your your pants? Thank God my friend Christy sent us home with dinner. I spent the next two days in bed and didn't even have the strength to get up and cook. But thank God she hooked us up and we were able to eat and I didn't have to get up and cook. Y'all, don't judge me for my dirty stove. <laughs> but look at this fish. I'm a pot small here, my understand. Need a bigger pot because we can only fry half a fish at a time. <laughs> Dinner. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I'm really trying this vlog thing, guys. It, I, I had such an up and down weekend week this week, um, but I did walk on Wednesday and Thursday, which I'm proud of. And shout out to my friend Cheyenne who uh, video called me and motivated me to walk and push me through video call and walk with me through video call. Um, I am away from my friends, but they are, they are so great. I have such great friends um, and who love on me and motivate me and inspire me with just how they live their lives. Um, 
But yeah, so I'm at the park again today, three days in a row. I said to myself, every day that Melody goes to school, I will come to the park and walk, whether my other friends come or not. I met this really nice old guy, he's so fit. Um, he's about 67 or something like that, Jorge. And he is running laps around me. When I tell you, I, I say, Jorge, I wanna be like you when I grow up because he's 67 and still coming out to the park three days a week. And he plays um, a sort of Mexican racquetball. It's not racquetball, but a sort of Mexican racquetball uh, style sport uh, that's very high intensity. He showed me a video of, of, of uh, what the sport looks like. Um, so what I was, I said to myself, you know, whether they come out or not, whether I have to walk by myself or not, every day that Melody goes to school, I'm going to come out here and walk for at least a half an hour. So I've been feeling really great about that and being able to keep that up. So take you guys on a little walk around the park with me real quick. And people think Tesla, yeah, there's a Tesla. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> People think there's no money in Mexico? There's money. There's people here with a lot of money. That was kind of cool. I wonder if I'm gonna drive by the Porsche dealership. They have the most amazing looking Porsches here. But all right, I'll take you on a little uh, walk with me. Usually I play music, but I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to bleep it out because of the copyright stuff. That I've been having issues with. <laughs> so I'm out here. My friend Keisha just left. We did six or seven, six or seven laps, and I'm just doing a cool down lap <laughs> right now to kind of show you guys how how it is out here. It's beautiful, and I'll show you guys my favorite tree. This place, this place is so beautiful. There's bamboo here and a beautiful tree. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can really see the beauty of it, but it's amazing. I specifically love this tree. It's like twins and they're massive. I don't think the, um, I don't think we get the full um, magnitude of them, but that's the house behind it right here. That's the house. Look how much it goes up. Infinity. And this is my other favorite tree. If you look at it from here, it's like a, it's like a, it's a dome shape. Mostly there's like little flowers on them. That's so beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in. Like little hand painted flowers. It's gorgeous. But yeah, this is the park I come to to walk. There's a little playground here. I never usually use the playground. These are some of the most dedicated people I know here. I come here every day and people like three times my age is walking and exercising. They have bicycles um, and workout gear, workout elliptical things. I never use them. What is this? I don't know how I got this, y'all. Guys, the gut. Mm. Wow, I feel like I'm, like I'm doing something. I love when it's sweaty like this. This is where I'm starting, y'all. You know? This is what I want it to look like, but I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, I'm giving thanks. I'm giving thanks. Today was a good workout. I'm actually, oh, actually, anyway, I'm about to get ready, put myself together because, um, what happened, Bailey? Bailey want to be in the video. You know he's a star. Where are you? 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go get ready, take a shower, put myself together, and um, okay, baby, uh, put myself together, and because Melody has a field trip today, and I am going with the school. Can you give me kisses? Cool, so I just need to cool off. Cool off, little. Catch up my hair. Oh, I cannot wear no sleeveless. But yeah, I also need to try to find a housekeeper because the house is so, I'm embarrassed to show, but the house is so out of hand. Uh, the little time we were sick, everything just got so out of hand. Um, but I'm gonna I'll call the housekeeper, see if she's available. But yeah, that's it so far for today. Today's Friday. It's gonna be a fun day, all right. Okay, it's 10.10. And as usual, I'm dilly dally out the whole of the time and I have to run because we have to get there by 10.30, 10.45 because the place starts at 11 o'clock, but... Okay, I'm finally in the car getting ready to go now. Uh, hopefully I can make it on time. I gave myself lots of time. It starts at 11. I wanted to get there at 10.45. Um, but we're on the way, so let's go. somos ahora en el presente. translator for us and caught some of some little bits and pieces here and there so we can kind of understand what was going on but overall it was okay it was good so they, the kids just went back on the bus to go head back to school and we're gonna meet them there so see you later okay I'm in the car and we're gonna head back to the school look at this afro y'all I should put it up Am I looking wow? <laughs> anyway, so I got a bit of taste about how difficult it is for Melody to be going to a Spanish school. Yeah, I, I'm so proud of her when I think about how difficult it is to go to a school that you don't speak the language and you have to rely on, um, you know, people helping to, you know, communicate and to, um, you know, just helping to translate and not knowing, not not being sure of yourself. Um, and I just, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. I go to school and the, all the teachers have all nice things to say, um, you know, uh, and she comes home and she tells me her one Spanish word she learned for the day. And you know, the expectation is that there's no expectation. The expectation is for you to have a great day and to be the best person you can be you know, show up as yourself. And honestly, I had to break out the translator uh, to help me with understanding the play because the play was in Spanish. And the fully, Melody is being fully immersed in that culture all day, every day. And hopefully will, it's, it's my hope that she will become fluent also. I know it's gonna take some time, maybe a year or two, but it's my, it's my hope for her that she can gain that skill because being being able to speak two languages um, is is a skill that not many people have and you know it, it can take her so far but anyway I I'm gonna do for the rest of the afternoon I'm gonna go pick up Melody um, from school 
Then we're gonna head over to my friend Claudia. She cook food. She's a Jamaican lady. She cook food in Mexico, and she's leaving soon. And I'm so sad. I usually buy food from her on the weekends. Um, and I just meet her and she got go away. But I know that uh, God have something bigger and better in store for her. So she have a, you know, have to make the move. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head to the school, and I'll see you then. It kind of looks like a two, but it's really a three. It's not like a two. Oh, this is a grand plaza. It's in the mix. And this is the traffic we're in. Mexico, they already put in up the Christmas tree. Last year it was a massive, massive Christmas tree. Over there was where they keep the festival and the fair. Yeah, the selecto. But look, they've already started putting up the Christmas tree. I, I don't know if they can have uh, any thing of how tall it is. It's very tall and it's far away, so. Yeah. 